In today's lesson 12.2, you're going to learn about making inferences from a random sample. In your last lesson, you learned how you can use samples to gain information about a population. And today we're going to be using proportions to make inferences or predictions. A random sample has a good chance of being representative of the population. Okay, we talked about random samples in the last video and because it's random then we can use it to set up a proportion and use proportional reasoning to make predictions about the entire population. So in example one it says a shipment to a warehouse consists of 3,500 mp3 players. The manager chooses a random sample of 50 mp3 players and finds that three are defective. How many MP3 players in the shipment are likely to be defective? So we're going to highlight the important information in this problem, that there are 3,500 MP3 players, that he chooses a random sample of 50 MP3 players, and out of those 50, he finds that three are defective. So he's going to use that information to get a prediction about how many mp3 players in the entire shipment might be defective. It's reasonable to make this prediction about the population because the sample is random. So we're going to set up a proportion. We're going to be putting the defective mp3 players in the sample over the size of the sample. It's like our total. And on the other side of our proportion, we're going to be putting the defective mp3 players in the population. That's what we're looking for. This would be our variable. And we know the entire population is our 3,500. So we're going to substitute our values into the proportion. Um, the defective mp3 players in the sample, he found that three were defective. The size of his sample was 50 mp3 players. We're going to set that equal to, we don't know how many might be defective, so this is our variable, that's our x, and the entire size of the population is our 3,500. So to solve this proportion, we could use the shortcut. What did I do to 50 to get 3,500? I'd have to multiply that by 70. So I'm going to do the same thing to the top. So three times 70 would mean that X is gonna equal 210 MP3s. So based on the sample, we were able to predict that 210 MP3 players in the shipment would be defective. Okay, in the year turn, it's asking you a couple of questions um, about the same problem. So go ahead and read them and answer them. Pause your video. Okay, the first question asks, what if? How many MP3 players in the shipment would you predict to be damaged if six MP3 players in the sample had been damaged? Okay, well if it was instead of three, out of that same 50, if it was six, well, if we doubled the three to make six, then we would double our answer. But I want you to go ahead and show your proportion. The setup is gonna be the same. If we had six out of 50, how many would we have out of 3,500? Well, the shortcut is still also the same. You're just gonna to have to multiply the denominator by 70. So we're gonna do the same thing to our numerator times 70. And 6 times 70 would be 420 MP3s that would be defective. In the second question, it was asking, how could you use estimation to check if your answer is reasonable? Well, if you are taking a sample of 50, it's easy to estimate 10% of any number. Okay, so if we try to estimate 10% of 50, really all we're doing is bringing that 
decimal in, okay? So that would equal five. And we found that up here, six is a little more than five. So we're gonna say six is a little greater, or let's just say a little more. So then, if we have a total population of 3,500, that's our sample, this is our population. If I take 10% of this number, okay, 10% of 3,500, again, I would just move that decimal over, one, that's gonna equal 350. Well, my answer was 420, and is 420 also a little more than 350? Yes, so this is how we could use estimation to make sure that our answer is reasonable and we can see that it is reasonable. We will talk more about using proportions to make predictions and making inferences from random samples tomorrow.